Hey y'all, it's Jessica here from Just Give Me Jesus, and I wanted to share with y'all a Bible journaling page that I was working on in Isaiah 30, and I've been studying the Rescued You Study by Sarah Kuntz, and this was day 18, talking about the names of God, and today she focused on the name, I'm not going to pronounce this right, but Elohe Mishpat, and that's what my page will reflect. First, I'm starting with clear gesso, and these are pan pastels. I've never used them before. I just opened them. I ordered them from Blick.com, and I got the Leah Griffith design set. Some beautiful colors in here, and today I'm going to use magenta, orange, and light gold out of this set. And that is a Stencil Girl stencil. It's the monthly stencil for June, and you can tell I don't always clean them, and that's completely okay. I had used some acrylic paint before, so that is a very um, colorful stencil now. And I'm just patting it with one of the little tools that came with the set. It feels kind of like a makeup sponge. After that clear gesso dried, I'll let the clear gesso dry. And I love, love, love how this turned out, but I just am not familiar enough with pan pastels to know if they could have gone on the page that was not done with clear gesso or if they needed it down and I also know don't know really which media to put on top of it so I added a thin coat well not too thin because I didn't want to smear it but a coat of clear gesso and it bled a little but not much not enough to matter and I knew that I could work on top of that and it wouldn't um, get on my other page or um, mess up with whatever I did on top of it. So I'm just drying the clear gesso really well and I'm coming back in with some watercolor on top of it and that color is Daniel Smith Amosonite and a little bit of Imperial Purple. Um, one thing about the study was that I really liked how she discussed um, Mishpat and what it meant and how it, it means um, a judgment or a decision and she related it to baseball and we had just had a game where my husband wanted to question an umpire's decision but because it was an opinion decision it was unquestionable and she related it to that that some of God's decisions, his judgment decisions are unquestionable. They are what they are. And this is a piece of watercolor paper and I'm just adding that amosonite watercolor to it to reflect the color that I already had on the page. Because I, I don't think I can do a page without a collage so I wanna add a collage to it of course. And so I'm adding some thin brown tissue. I was having difficulty tearing it. But that is the tissue that um, I've added to it. And I used my typewriter and typed out Mishpat Act of Judgment. And I just wrote Unquestionable Decision because I wanted to kind of remember that in relation to what we were talking about. So I'm looking at some little elements that I've done previously. I've just made some little collages that I keep on my desk and what will work and not work. I'm going around with Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo just to give that, um, give that little piece of paper an, a good outline. I'm gluing that down with just a Scotch glue stick, some thread bits to create my collage. And it just, I kept my, I kept being drawn to that bottom right there. So I thought a cute little Tim Holtz paper doll would be perfect. And I just really like that one. So I glued him down, well I'm going to glue him down. I inked the edges, but that I shouldn't have because it didn't matter once I started adding a little water to it. So I'm adding a little watercolor. Um, one thing I learned, don't put too much water. If you put, uh, if you, the color is stronger than the water, then it'll work on it. But when I got him glued down, I realized I did not like that turquoise on the turquoise watercolor. So I changed it to orange and then just dried that. Just trying to get those threads to stay. They don't always like to stay where I want them to. And I'm just reminding myself of the um, the image of baseball and decisions that can't be questioned. 
And I really appreciate y'all watching today. And I would really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you.